The Willow Project has just been approved and it's going to kill our planet. Let's talk about that. So another um, scarring start to this podcast, just like last time it was a little urgent, but you know, now we need to be really urgent because this problem is becoming really prevalent really, really fast. Um, so if you haven't heard about the Willow Project, basically the federal government had to decide on whether this project should be passed or not. If passed, which it was passed, uh, this will allow for ConocoPhillips, an oil grant company, to dig for oil in northern Alaska. There are a lot of consequences with this act. Um, first of all, there's not many environmental protection plans in place. There are a lot of proponents for this saying that when it was introduced during the Trump administration, that there are a lot more facilities that they were going to create and this one has downsized from six to, I think, two. But the thing is, even two is going to create irreversible climate damage to the environment, and we need to get it from two to zero. 9.2 million metric tons of carbon dioxide will be released by this project every year, and that's the same as 76 coal plants make per year. That is a crazy number, 76 different coal plants, and that's all going to be, that's going to be doubled by how much in this just one sector in Alaska. This is going to melt the Arctic, kill the polar bears and penguins, and ruin the environment. It's going to create irre irreversible climate change across the globe, um, and we're just not going to be able to get back from it. You know, I heard from this person recently that it's not about save the planet, because, you know, the planet's going to survive eventually once humans are gotten rid of. So once this planet isn't able to sustain us anymore, then we're the ones who are not going to be able to live. The planet will stay here, you know, it, it'll get better over billions and billions of years, but we're not going to be around. So if you think humans deserve a place in this planet, then you need to protect the land that we live on, because if the land isn't going to be able to provide for us, then we cannot live. So it's not about save the planet, it's about save the human there have been some talk about like benefits of this project. Um, there's going to be obviously increased oil production for the United States, but I feel like, you know, everybody's trying to get away from oil and fossil fuels and non-renewable sources. So instead of spending all this money into the ConocoPhillips project, I feel like we should be putting money into the solar industry or the fusion industry or like some other non-renewable non -renewable sorry, some renewable source of energy rather than this continuously hitting this non-renewable source of energy. And the thing is, oil, it's so, we waste so much of it um, for gas and all the electricity that we need it for. But the thing is, oil is also used for our clothes and our medicine and a lot of those type of things. So if we end up using it all on things that we could replace it with renewable energy sources, we're not going to be able to have all these medicines and clothes and stuff like that, but there is no replacement for oil. There will be an improved economy in Alaska, and Alaskan citizens, indigenous, and government are in support of the Willow Project. I don't know how true that is. Like, it may be some specific group of people. It may not be everyone in Alaska, but the thing is, I don't really care if the Alaskan citizens are okay with this because it's not just affecting Alaska, it's affecting the whole world. And I think this big of an issue shouldn't be um, passed just through the president. I feel like there should be a larger group of people that are going to pass this. You know, this is like a monumental thing. Here is what the Conoco Phillips project looks like. These are the pumps that are going to be extracting the oil from the ground. Um, and the picture on the left is a picture of the ice melting um, in the Arctic. And, you know, everyone's seen those type of pictures before and it's just really sad. And hopefully some of you will, you know, understand um, and try to speak out too. So the big solution to all this is just speaking out. You just have to get everyone to know and understand that they need to do anything they can to help spread the word. Maybe eventually it'll hit someone in the upper ranks of the government that maybe we shouldn't be doing this. 
Um, so yeah, this is just a quick little talk about the Willow Project. Um, remember, your voice matters and you can help bring change to help your future. If people hear millions of people speaking against this act, um, then maybe it'll, you know, change a little bit. I know, like, there already are millions of people speaking about this, but you're one in addition to the millions of other ones that think, oh, it doesn't matter, it's just me. Well, you know, if all of them, all of those people think, oh, yeah, I can still make a change, then those numbers will add up. So I just wanted you guys to share this information to everyone you know. I know the bill has been passed already, but we can still stop it. We can stop it before it gets way too hard to reverse the damage. You know, last time I was talking about the climate countdown, and that climate countdown is probably not going to be accurate anymore because of this project. It's just going to speed up the clock. So please take to heart that this isn't politics. It's our lives and it's our future. Um, so I hope you have a great rest of your day and that you try to do something to help with this issue. Thanks so much for listening, and I hope you have a great week. Try to follow me on my Instagram and subscribe to the YouTube channel. I'll be talking about a little um, uplifting thing next week. I'm going to be talking about a fusion fashion show that I heard about today. And I'll just be reviewing like the outfits and I'll be talking about its relation to fusion, which is a really potential, it's a really strong potential source of clean energy. So tune into that one. Thank you. Bye.